All right, we're talking GAR basketball. Head coach Jerry Altavilla with us. And, uh, coach, it's been a, a very successful season for your team. A lot of emotions like anything else. You know, you may lose a game, then you got to get back up. But you guys played a lot of great competition this year. Yeah, we did. We played a lot of tough games, exhibition. Uh, played William Allen. Uh, we played Springfield Delco. And then with the crossover games, we had Hazleton, Crestwood. Uh, and then just in our own division, Nanny Coke, Myers, all very good teams. Very good competition. Let's talk about some of the, the games this year that kind of stood out and you kind of said, okay, this, this game kind of said we could play with these teams. Uh, you know what? Early on, we lost to Hazleton. And uh, I went. that was one game I went home, one loss I went home feeling pretty good about. I thought, you know what, we're a pretty good team. We're coming along. We're ahead of where I thought we'd be at that time. And uh, I felt pretty good about that. And then, uh, of course, Myers, uh, emotional loss yes. uh, at home, uh, nonetheless. Yes. Uh, you knew, well, oh boy, you know, might be playing them sooner than we thought. And eventually, you had to play them again. Myers, a quality team, but the, your kids rose up. Yes, they did. You know, it was a very emotional week. We actually had lost earlier in the week. Uh, we had a nine-game winning streak. We lost to Wyoming area, and we never sort of got our uh, back on track going into Myers. You know, with a lot of emotions coming into the Myers home game, and uh, you know, I really felt, even though it was Myers, we came out flat that night. We didn't execute well. And then we're thinking, okay, we get the rematch with them, and they go up and uh, play a good game and beat Hazleton. So it was an emotional week for us. Some of the positives could be negatives. Uh, you always at GAR, you always have some good athletes. Yes. You always got kids that play with a lot of emotion, but you also have basketball players that love the game too. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, after we lost to Myers in the last game, we actually we had a day off and we got back into the gym. We had two very good practices heading into uh, the first round of districts of play Berwick, and you started to feel, okay, you know what, we got this back, we're playing good. So going into Myers, uh, uh, the Saturday game at Wilkes, I felt very confident about that. The guys are ready to play, you know, they got that over that, uh, disappointment and they, they wanted to get, make the game to the arena that was a goal they had all year and uh, you know they really played a great game on Saturday and I have the right personality for some of these guys talk a little bit about what you feel some of your strengths are to relate to some of these guys being a GAR guy you know I'll be honest with you GAR is a, it's a different place uh, in a good way though it's a very special place it's always we, I think I talked about this with you before it's, there's a lot of tradition up there and the kids know it and you know we do have some uh, some situations that may arise, you know what I mean, that uh, the kids, they love basketball. So sometimes it, it almost crosses the line where the emotions overtake them. But, uh, you know, I, I think going to school there, I mean, I still live in the neighborhood. I relate good with the kids. And, uh, you know, I think for the most part, we get along pretty good. <laughs> we talk about you kind of, you know, every coach has a dream of what they want to do. and. You know, talk about being a head coach and knowing that, as you say, that tradition at GAR. What's it like for you to kind of get a uh, another year under your belt and experience it? Well, yeah, you know what? I mean, th obviously before me, uh, Coach Hopkins and Coach Brown, there's a thousand wins between them guys. So they were big shoes to fill. But, uh, I mean, our goal right now is to win basketball games, win championships. And, I mean, it's well known we haven't won the district in a while. We lost in 04, 08. 13 and 15 so we're on a four game losing streak in the district final so you know we'd really like to get back to that district championship and bring it back to the hill does it give you hope knowing what nana cook was able to do against granted prep or do you kind of feel like hey we, we have that hope as the way we played hazelton the way we played myers the way we responded this year yeah you know what we feel we played some pretty good competition and uh you know, we feel like we can compete with them. Uh, we, we definitely feel confident, and uh, I mean, we're going to give them the best game we have. Uh, they're obviously a great team. I mean, you know, I watched that Nanny Coke game, and they can score in bunches. I mean, it just come, they went 24, became 10, and 4 very fast. So, you know, we, we got to play good defense and uh, try to control the tempo. Well, uh, we appreciate you coming out to our Carol and Janelle, and uh, look forward to talking to some of the guys here. All right, thank you, John. Will Johnson here from the GAR basketball team, and uh, well, let's talk a little bit about your ball game. Uh, talk about what what has gone well for you, or some things you worked on in the off season to make sure you're ready for this season. Uh, I'm working on my my jump shot, my my pull up jump shot. I know, like, I get to the rim kind of easy, so I've been like working on on a different thing just to just to put my game together. Let's talk about the, the starters and the guys that come off the bench. So what is it about this GAR team this year that has you guys playing in the district championship? We just all know how to work with each other. We know we all know what everyone's comfortable with. Like Khalil plays defense, Andrew shoots, Kishon rebounds, Herman rebounds. So we all worked hard together and we've just been winning a lot lately. 
a lot of personalities, whether it's football or basketball, whatever the sport, field hockey, you got to be able to work with those guys. Talk about what you think you guys have worked on as as the personalities. You know, somebody might say, hey, I want to score this amount of points, or I, I want to do this or do that. How have you guys kind of worked that out? Just ball movement. We, nobody really worries about their points. We worry about just getting the win together as a family. So whoever has the, whoever's the high hand, we usually look to beat them. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Coach Altavilla, his style, uh, being a GAR guy. Uh, what's he try to teach you as a coach? He enforces ball movement. Every, we all enforce ball movement. He, he, knows, he knows the best for all of us. He knows what we all can do. So we all listen to him and work hard in practice. Talk about some things you think you have going for you against Scranton Prep first. Then we'll talk about what you think some of the challenges are going to be. But what are some things you think GAR could do well against Scranton Prep? We just, we just know we got to come out and play hard. So we know we've been down in adversity. We play hard. We got to just, just play as a team. That's the main key, play as a team. And then how about some challenges you, th you think that Scranton Prep brings? They, they seem like they could be a really good three-pointing shooting team. They do have some bigs. They, they could run. They could do transition. They could do a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, we just – defense is going to be a key to beating them. Like you said, from one to five, they all shoot. They all score. So we got to stop them on the defensive end just to get a good bucket on our side. As far as uh, basketball, uh, talk about uh, growing up playing, you know, how much you loved it, and, and where you learned the game. I've been playing basketball since I was young, and I learned basically the game from my from my dad. My dad taught me basically everything I know, so I give everything to him. Dad a crafty lefty? Yeah. How about you, righty or lefty? Lefty. Lefty as well. Those crafty lefties are tough to stop. Well, uh, we wish you well at the district championship. Great to see you, Will, and uh, have a, a great state run uh, hopefully for you guys as well all right thank you i appreciate it all right we're with elijah ruiz from the gar basketball team and uh elijah let's talk a little bit about your role on this year's team uh, what does coach expect of you uh just for me to come off the bench and um just just help the team out in any way i can what are some things that you see uh, when you're on the bench watching these guys and saying okay these are things we're doing pretty well but you know when i go in i need to do this um I don't know, just really like ask coach if he needs any, anything done and talk to the guys and tell them that if they can fix anything. How about the athleticism on this team? Talk a little bit about some of the athletes and what each guy brings to the table. Good, we got Will. He's practically like he starts the whole team. We got our two and three, Andrew Campbell and Khalil, uh, both good athletes. And we have um, Herman Swazo and Keyshawn Palmer. Any other sports for you, your players? Basketball, your nah, thing. Basketball, I mean. And uh, let's talk about uh, growing up playing basketball, where where it started, and uh, you know, just kind of playing in the park there, at, uh, up yeah, on the hill. Playing on the park. How about the the people out there to support you? Let's talk a little bit about the the people in your corner rooting you on. Just my mom and my dad. All the games. Yeah. How about the uh, the fun you have uh, on the court with your with your teammates right now? You guys have had a lot of wins, a big emotional win against Myers. Yeah, it was it was a big um, it was a big win for us to come into the district this year. What do you like about your team against Scranton Prep? What do you think uh, your chances are against a team like Scranton Prep? You guys are probably on paper the underdog, but uh, as we saw, a team like Nanticoke, uh, they they gave them a game. I almost pulled it off. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think we have a good chance of being. Them. I think we could pull it out. They're they're a good team, but I think we're a better team. Well, we wish you well. Enjoy your experience at the uh, District 2 Championship game, all right? Thank you. Khalil White here from GAR, and uh, Khalil, let's talk a little bit about uh, your performance this year. Talk about uh, what your role on this team is. Um, just getting started to play hard for my team and just play with play roles and get rebounds for my team do what Coach Ax, basically. Let's talk about some of the games you guys played this year. Really good competition. Uh, I'm sure your eyes are probably lit up a little bit a few times on some of these teams you play. We're going up a team like William Allen, really yeah. talented, ranked, I think, number one in the state. Um, talk about what it was like to be with them. Um, it was very tough. Hard, like every, they were very good like every year. It's kind of hard to play. Coach gave us the best exhibition we would get ready for the season. How about a team like Hazleton going up against them? And you guys uh, had a pretty close game there. Yeah, it was pretty tough. And we tried to work hard. It was, it was hard. And as far as uh, the shooters on the team, talk about, do you guys have a lot of outside shooters or do you have more of the ability to take it inside and get it to the to the um, rack? We have more of the ability to take it to the rack. We have like two or three shooters on our team, not a lot. 
about your role as a as a player uh, as far as can you um, can you shoot that ball from the outside when yeah, you need to? Yeah, <laughs> that's my main job this year. Shoot the ball. Defensively, you guys are going to need to play tough against Granted Prep. Talk about uh, you know whether you guys play zone or man to man. What what you guys normally do? Um, this year we played a little bit of man, not a lot, but zone mostly throughout the year. So we're probably going to play zone, probably like a little bit of man. Talk a little bit about uh, watching Will play, what you learned from him, what kind of leadership he brings to the team. I learned a lot. I grew up with him for since I was a little kid, so he's been like really my role model playing with him. As far as uh, looking forward to the, the arena and, and playing in front of everybody, what do you think that atmosphere is going to be like? Uh, it's going to be huge. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people there, and it'll be very big for us. <laughs> a lot of Grenadier fans that day, you hope, yeah, right? Yeah. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Anthony Hawk with us from the GAR Grenadiers basketball team. Uh, Anthony, you guys did it. You made it to the District 2 championship, but I'm sure that's not where you want to end it. Um, talk about trying to now win it against a, a good Scranton prep team. Yeah, we just try, we just got to play defense like like, we, like we've been doing the last couple of games. Like we, we fell off a couple of games, but we, we found we, we found a defense that works very well, and we think we're we, we going to beat Scranton prep. As far as falling off a couple games, all, all teams do it. In basketball, sometimes you get that second chance. Now, you'll get another chance no matter what happens this weekend because you'll be in the state tournament. But uh, talk about some of those games like uh, Wyoming area and Myers and some of the emotions that you guys went through. Yeah, uh, Wyoming area, we just, we just like, it, it was in practice. Like, we just, we was messing around a couple times. So it, it just caught up with us. And, and after we lost to Wyoming area, we just, we just lost all our confidence, and that's why we lost to Myers. But then we regathered ourselves, and we came to play again. And that's what was that like to, to beat Myers? To, to to get you know people say get revenge or or whatever, but you know you got to play a team, get another chance to play a team like Myers, and they're talented. But w what was that win like? It, it felt so great because they're our rivals, and we lost uh, you know, on our own home court. We ain't lose all we ain't lose all year there until that game. So it felt good beating them. You got to put that behind you now and, and kind of just concentrate on Scranton prep. I'm sure coach maybe goes over film with you guys or maybe you got a chance to see them live this year, but what do you think Scranton prep brings to the table? They're, they're a great all-around team, like, but we just got we, we got a good defense, so we, we won't come to play. And it seems to be the theme. Everybody's saying the defense. Yeah, if you guys are to the beat key. them. That's the key to win. Be the defense and maybe some of that ball movement some yeah, of the guys are talking yeah, about. How about activities for you at school other than uh, basketball, or is that all you do? That's all I do. The basketball school, the GAR Grenadiers. Well, yeah. we appreciate you coming out tonight, Anthony. Thank you. All right. Lenny Martin, the assistant coach here at GAR. Uh, we appreciate you joining us here at our Carolina Journal. Lenny, another guy who goes through the, the GAR basketball program, so a homegrown guy. And uh, What's it like? Because you, both of you guys could relate to these guys and what it's like going through high school. So uh, that means a lot to these kids. Yeah, I mean, I've been a part of the program for, I mean, 17 years straight. Uh, I played there for six years, coached there for 11 years straight. And uh, I just try to give them everything that I got uh, when it comes to drills, stuff like that, plays. Like, I see the game a little bit different from the bench now instead of playing, so I try to give them those tips. Either step back from the screen, go over the screen, defensively, offensively, and try to give them the wisdom that I earned throughout the last couple of years. You're a grinder. Uh, you, you, you put a lot of work into the game of basketball, and you expect these guys to give you the same. Talk about the expectations as far as the work ethic. Uh, expectations are pretty much every day you go into the gym and you work. Uh, whatever the drill is, I want that guy to go after the next guy. You know, But at the end of the day, you go get a slice of pizza and you have fun. But when practice is practice, you go at each other and you make each other better. And whatever it takes to make that person better, who we do, and everything comes into a competition, and I just want them to be the best players they can. Well, as coaches, you know, you want to make each other better, and you may have some differences with uh, Coach Altavilla, but there's got to be that compliment. Talk about how you guys work together. Yeah, I mean, me and uh, Coach Altavilla have been working together for 11 years. We made our way up into the system uh, since seventh grade. Uh, now we're the varsity coaches at GAR, and I mean, we always see eye to eye. Uh, I mean, if I'm calling out a play, he's singing that in the back of his head or vice versa. Uh, I mean, like I said, for 11 years, we've been on the same page and we won a lot of games and hopefully we can continue this throughout the next couple of years. Talent that you guys have and everybody, these guys seem, the theme seems to be, hey, if we play defense as Scranton Prep, we have a chance. Yeah, I mean, that's like the biggest key in our practice. 
you know, if we could bring down the uh, score a little bit because they like to get out and run. You know what I mean? They get a lot of shots up per game. Uh, if we could get some stops and just go and come down to rebounding. Uh, defensive rebounds, holding them to one and done, and we get consecutive rebounds to get us more offensive chances, I think that would definitely change the game. Offensively, how about the, as far as distribution, what you, you guys need to do offensively? Uh, some of the guys said you have that ability for different guys to take it to the rack. You may need to hit a few of those three-pointers. I know Nanny Cook uh, was hitting some, some yeah. outside shots. Yeah, uh, I mean, what I preach every day is drive, draw, dish. Uh, you got to have somebody pick you up. If nobody picks you up, it's a layup. Draw the double team, kick it out to the shooters. I've been talking about for a while that we got to get to the paint. We get to the paint, then those shots from the outside will come. And we're starting to get into it a little bit. And uh, I think it's very hard to guard us off the dribble. And then when they commit, we got to hit those long shots to uh, keep in the game, especially against prep. All right, well, uh, we appreciate you coming out, Lenny. Great to see you, and best of luck at the arena. Thank you so much.